We have seen in previous section that is the head loss due to major loss as well as minor losses. Now we are going to study what is relation of friction factor rather coefficient of friction of Darcy's in relation with the shear stress. with shear stress now what is friction factor friction factor is also called as coefficient of friction but there is a difference this is darcy's coefficient of friction okay Anyways, friction factor and Darcy's coefficient of friction both are same. Now, for that, we will consider a pipe over here. It is having some section 1, 1 and section 2, 2. During the entire part of the section, the diameter remains same. So, what happens over here? We will apply some amount of pressure on section 1, 1. And there will be some opposite pressure on section 2, 2. During this, we will consider the length of this entire pipe as L. Now, over here, what happens is due to pressure P1 greater than P2, the fluid is going to flow from section 1, 1 to section 2, 2. But the frictional force will be in the opposite direction that is at the walls of this entire pipe. We will consider the, this pipe as a cylinder, so the walls of that entire cylinder. So over here, if we apply that is summation of Fx, we can get this as P1 into area of cross section minus P2 into area of cross section. That will be equals to the shear stress. So, this is the force due to pressure P1 which is towards right and force due to pressure P2 which is towards left. So, now let us write this down since area of cross section is same. So, this is P1 minus P2 into A that will be equals to tau 0. This is shear stress and force due to shear stress will be tau 0 into pi into d into l so shear stress force this is not just shear stress this is force due to shear stress and star pi, uh, tau 0 pi dl so let us continue with this and write this down so what we get over here is a p1 minus p2 into a is equals to tau 0 pi dl over here this is P1 minus P2. Area of cross section is pi by 4 d square is equal to tau 0 pi d into L. So over here we can cancel the diameter out pi d, d out. And what we get over here is a P1 minus of P2 into d by 4 is equal to tau 0 into tau 0 into L. So hence what we get over here P1 minus P2 will be equals to tau 0 into 4 4 into L upon D. So we have got what is difference in the pressure. Now we have to connect this difference in the pressure with the head loss. So how to connect this difference in pressure with head loss that is the head loss is equal to P1 minus P2 upon rho G. Hmm? This is by the application of Bernoulli's equation on section 1, 1 and section 2, 2 which we have seen in previous section while calculating the head loss in terms of frictional force. So, we have got this value. Let us substitute over here. So, what we get this is P1 minus P2 
will be equals to head loss into rho into g so let us substitute in this equation what we get value of p1 and p2 p1 minus p2 rather this is hl into rho g is equals to tau 0 into 4 else upon d so We have got the head loss is equals to tau 0 into 4 into L upon D into rho into G. So this is what is head loss. But the head loss is also equals to HL is equals to FLV square upon 2GD. Let us substitute in this equation. So what do we get? That is F l v square upon 2 g d is equals to tau 0 4 l upon d rho g so over here the value of g g will go away diameter and diameter will be cancelled and what we will get over here l and v square will come in the denominator rather l and l will go away what we will get over here that is f is equals to tau 0 into 8 upon rho into v square. So this is how that is friction factor is related to shear stress that is 8 tau rho by v square. I hope you have understood how to relate friction factor with shear stress. Thank you.